The new checker device in GimKit Creative makes it very easy to create passcode protected locks. This is a great uh, game mechanic if you want to create digital escape rooms for players to escape or just include any kind of game mechanic where players need to determine specific information in a specific order in order to move on in the game. What makes the checker great for this is that you can set up uh, up to five unique checks on one checker device, and you can set the checker device to only send a pass message if all five checks are successful. You can also change it so that if any of the five checks are successful, a pass message will be sent. But in order to create a four or five digit lock, this all checks must pass option is really great. So uh, in this case, I have four counters and each one is acting like a separate digit of a four digit lock. And each check on this checker device is mapped to the items that are granted when these counters are incremented. Um, you could also do this with properties, although I have been having a little trouble getting that to work. Um, properties would probably be the better choice because they don't, you don't have to worry about having extra inventory um, already to mess up your count that's being checked. But um, in this example, we're using items. So every time I press a trigger or step on a trigger, I'll be granted an item and I need to do it a certain amount of times so that I get a certain amount of items so that when the checks run, it checks those items and sends a success message, which should make this barrier disappear. If I get a failure message, this try again text should appear. All right, so let's try that out and see how it works. So before I do any of these checks, this 0000 would not be the correct combination. So if I press this trigger, I should get a try again message up here. I did. And let me just double check my inventory to make sure I don't have anything in there. All right. Now I know my combination um, is going to be two, four, three, one. So now when I run this, hit this trigger, which will run that checker, um, it should be a successful four checks in a row. And because all of the checks need to pass, it'll send a success message, which will tell this barrier to disappear. It did. And now I can move on for the rest of my game. I'm no longer locked in that room. That's how you can set up a passcode protected lock in GimKit Creative, which creates lots of different possibilities and game dynamics for you to play around with.